There's a thriving artist in residence program that's happening in the national parks. What that allows is to bring artists into the park to live and to work, to explore the landscape and feed off of the park. In my case, I'm making animal masks that are related to the animals that live within the park. So we have the Sierra Nevada red fox. In addition to making masks in the park, I also go out and model them. Sometimes uh, I'll even hire models or have park rangers model for me. And so I'll bring costumes and I bring my masks out. And so I look for really unique environments that are in the United States. I chose Lassen uh, for an artisan residency because of the unique landscape that's here. The masks are all paper mache. Any sort of common paper will work. I like to use a little bit thicker paper because I find that it gives it a little bit of sturdiness. It handles the paint. I build it up in layers. After the paper mache process is done, I, I coat it with acrylic paint. And last but not least, I like to use these designs um, which are done with a brush pen. So I'll use brush pen to actually go in and this part is actually drawn. I sell a lot of masks at Halloween, as you can imagine. So people who don't want something that's just store-bought, but they want something that's unique. I never repeat a mask twice. Every mask is completely unique. This one in particular, I don't think I'm gonna sell. I'm just gonna hold on to it because it's, I've become kind of emotionally attached to it since I've been here. The best way to find my work is to follow me on Instagram, and that's J-Y-M-D-A-V-I-S. Uh, if you search that on Instagram, you'll find me and find all my masks. You can also look for my work on jimdavis.com.